These days, you can find almost any drink in a can. Now it's beer, wine, cider, seltzer, uh, cannabis in certain markets. David Racino started American Canning almost 10 years ago. Two thirds of all new beverages are actually going into cans if they can get them. Now, don't let these towers of empty cans fool you. They glisten like jewels and are becoming rare like them too. In 2021, there was about a 12 billion can shortfall in the U.S., meaning there are 12 billion cans that people wanted to buy that they couldn't get their hands on that were produced here. American Canning is working on a solution to solve the shortage of cans by making its own. This year, the company will move into this building, tripling its size and allowing it to manufacture its own cans out of aluminum foil. Every year, every month, it gets harder and harder. Michael Graham co-founded Austin Beer Works, one of American Canning's partners and one of the first craft breweries in Texas to only do canned beer. We looked at cans as basically tiny kegs. But now, according to the Texas Craft Brewers Guild, most breweries are turning away from bottles. I think people find the convenience of a can over a bottle um, just from a weight and recycling. And aluminum is inherently recyclable and it's recyclable very efficiently. So more or less, a single can recycled is a single can that it can be turned back into. According to Racino, 2020 marked the first time craft breweries used more cans than bottles. That shortfall and that manufacturing capacity deficit disproportionately affects small businesses, and so we're here to help them. It could take a year or two for can production to catch up to demand. So until then... I wish we could get more cans than we can, but we can't, and they're, they're more expensive than they used to be, so the price of beer is about to go up a little bit. In Austin, I'm Mike Murray.